In this video, I will show you how to add Elementor form responses to Google Docs automatically. Now you must be thinking that where this automation is useful. So assume that you have created a form for the freelancers from where they can easily submit the content to you. So what will happen every time the freelancer will submit the content, a document will be generated automatically into the Google Docs and the same content will be updated automatically into the Google Docs application. So if you also want to collect your Elementor form responses, responses in Google Docs automatically come with me and I will show you the whole process step by step. Alright, so I have created this Elementor form and in order to collect all the responses into the Google Docs application, I'll have to build an integration in Elementor and Google Docs and I am going to do that with the Pabli Connect, which is an integration and automation software and I'm an existing user of Pabli Connect. So here you can see I am already logged in and you can also create your free account in just two minutes from this sign up free button and in the free account, you will also get free tasks to test this automation. Now, once you will create your account and reach to the dashboard firstly click on this blue button that is create workflow and provide any random name to your workflow to your automation okay so I have provided the name as add your form responses or content in Google Docs now simply click on create and then you will notice two boxes in front of you okay so these are actually trigger an action so here the trigger means when this happens an action means do this so whenever this happens, then automatically do this understand with an example also Whenever a sale happen in a payment gateway application, let's say, then automatically send an email to the customer via Gmail application. So this is how you need to always select the applications in which you are building an automation. And according to our use case, whenever the element of form is submitted, basically, whenever any form submission may, is made in element of forms application, then automatically collect those responses into the Google Docs application. So this is how you need to select the application application in this trigger and action window so I have selected the same now I am going to connect these two application one by one with the Pabli connect so firstly select the trigger event so you can also read the instructions here that this will trigger when a new form is submitted okay so select this new form submission trigger event so what will happen every time a new form submission is made into the Elementor the details will be received via Pabli connect for that I'll have to first build the connection and for the connection I am going to use this webhook URL and firstly you will also have to read these instructions very carefully okay so copy this webhook URL then go back Back to your Elementor form whose responses you would like to collect into the Google Docs application okay so firstly I am going to edit this form and while editing I will paste that webhook URL inside this form only okay so firstly you will have to select that form and then you will notice an option of the webhook okay select that option and here you can see a webhook URL is already added so I have deleted that webhook URL and then I am going to paste this new webhook URL which we have received via Pabli Connect and after that simply click on update and this is how the connection in between this form and Pabli Connect will be successful. Now in order to test whether this connection is working fine or not I am going to make a dummy submission via this form okay. So here you can see it is still waiting for the webhook response so firstly I am going to submit this form. Alright, so I have provided the name, email address and the phone number of the person and now I am going to submit the content. Here you can see I have already prepared a nice and a small content. So the topic of the content is digital marketing importance in driving traffic. Okay, so I am going to directly copy this whole content and I will submit this content here. Click on send and you will notice once the form submission is made, the details will be captured via Pabli Connect and here you can notice that it is still waiting for the webhook response. Alright, your submission was successful. Come back to Pabli Connect and wait for the response. And here you can see the responses received. So let me show you the details one by one. So here we have the fields that is please submit your blog or content here. So in this particular field, we have captured all the content here. We have the same phone number, the same name and the same email address. So the presence of this data clearly shows that the connection in between our Elementor form and Pabli Connect is working absolutely fine. Now I am going to submit this form. Basically, I'm going to 
send this form responses to my Google Docs application. So firstly, you will have to select an action event and I want that a new document should be created and in that document, the content should be updated. Okay, so which particular action event I should select here? Okay, so here you can see create a blank document. Okay, so firstly, we will create a document. So simply click on connect, click on add a new connection and then you will have to provide the access of your Google Docs. Okay, so simply click on the sign in with Google. Okay, but I have already provided this connection. So instead of going with the new connection, I will go with the existing connection. In your case, if you are building this connection for the first time, you will have to go with the new connection only. Okay, here you can see it is connected. Now it is asking that what should be the document name which you are about to create. Okay, so I want the document name something like block submission wire and here i want that the name of the person should appear okay so every time the form submission is made by a person a document will be created automatically on his name okay so i'm going to map the name of the person and mapping is very simple i don't need to manually copy the above data and paste it here i'm going to map from this drop down okay so search for the name of the person that is demo freelancer okay so whatever the details i have provided here manually that detail will remain same and whatever the details I have provided with the help of mapping, that detail will be replaced automatically when this automation will work in real time. Okay, so what will happen? The name of the person will be replaced automatically and this block submission via this will remain same. Okay, so here you can see a response is received. That means a document, a blank document with this particular name has been generated already. Okay, so let me check my Google Drive and refresh it. And here you can see block submission via demo freelancer. If I will open that document in front of you, you will notice that currently this document is blank and currently this document is created into the root folder. Okay, basically it is not added into a specific folder. Okay, just in case if you want to create the documents into a specific folder, I will also show you the process of that thing as well. Okay, so here you can see this uh, document is blank. Now to update the responses here, I'll have to add this Google Docs application once again inside Pabli Connect and this time instead of selecting this create a blank document, I'll go with the append a paragraph to a document. Okay, so let me search for the Google Docs once again here. And in the action event, I'll go with this append a paragraph to a document, click on connect. And again, I'll go with the existing connection only. Now it will ask you that in which particular document you would like to update the content. So here you can see a drop down is visible in which it is showing all the documents name. Well, I cannot select this document name from this drop down because I want that every time a new document should be created. And in that document, the content should be updated. Okay, so that is why I am going to delete this name. Okay, so for that you will have to enable this mapping button and then you can remove the ID of that document. And here I will provide the ID. Basically, I will map the ID of that document so that the ID will be replaced automatically when this automation will work in real time. All right, so I'll have to search for that ID, basically ID of that document. And here we have the ID that is document ID for the it is asking that which content you would like to insert. Okay, inserted text. Okay, so simply click on this particular field and again you will find the above data here in the drop down. So how about I first map the name of the person and then I will press enter and then I'm going to map the email address of the person. And how about I also map the phone number of the person and lastly I will add the separation and after that I will also add the content okay so here we have the content okay now simply click on this button save and send test request after providing after mapping all the data and here you can see a response is received let me check my document and here you can see the responses have been added automatically inside my Google Docs okay so here we have the name the email address and the phone number of the person and here we have the whole content okay so this is how now onwards every 
एनी टाइम समवन इज गोइंग टू सबमिट योर एलिमेंटल फॉर्म्स पब्लिक कनेक्ट विल इंस्टेंटली कैप्चर दैट डेटा इन साइड इट्स डैशबोर्ड एंड देन इट विल ऑटोमेटिकली सेंड दैट डेटा बेसिकली अपडेट दैट डेटा इन टू गूगल डॉक्स ओके सो बेसिकली फर्स्टली इट इज गोइंग टू क्रिएट अ ब्लैंक डॉक्यूमेंट एंड इन दैट ब्लैंक डॉक्यूमेंट वी कैन ईजिली अपडेट द कंटेंट ओके जस्ट इन केस इफ यू वॉन्ट टू अपडेट दिस कंटेंट इन टू अ स्पेसिफिक फोल्डर सो इंस्टेड ऑफ सिलेक्टिंग द गूगल डॉक्स एप्लीकेशन एज द सेकेंड स्टेप यू कैन ऑल्सो सिलेक्ट द गूगल ड्राइव एप्लीकेशन लेट मी गिव यू अ क्विक ब्रीफ दैट हाउ यू कैन डू दैट ओके वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू एड दिस स्टेप बट आई एम जस्ट शोइंग यू हाउ दिस प्रोसेस ऑल्सो कैन बी डन ओके सो इन द एक्शन इवेंट फर्स्टली यू कैन सिलेक्ट दैट क्रिएट अ फाइल इन अ स्पेसिफिक फोल्डर ओके एंड हेयर यू कैन स्पेसिफाई द नेम ऑफ द फोल्डर ओके लेट मी शो यू इट विल बी कनेक्टेड एंड हेयर एग्जैक्टली यू कैन स्पेसिफाई द नेम ऑफ द फोल्डर एंड देन यू कैन provide the file name and the file type and once a blank file has been created into a specific folder then you can either update the content basically append the content by applying this google docs application once again okay so this is the third step okay i am talking about this step or you can do the same process by applying the google drive application once again it is completely up to you okay so here you have two choices you can perform the same task either by selecting the google drive application or by selecting the Google Docs application okay so this is how now onwards every time someone is going to submit the content via your elementor form submission the details will be captured via publicly connect and it will automatically update the form submission or the content into the Google Docs application and just in case if you want to access this automation inside your publicly connect account i will also attach the link of this automation this workflow inside my youtube description box you just need to click on this link and sign up into the publicly connect and then you will be able to access this workflow this automation inside your publicly connect account that to for free not just these applications you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with publicly connect you can ask your queries at forum.publicly.com my team will surely answer to your questions this is the website of publicly connect and for the latest updates of publicly connect and unique automation ideas you can join our facebook group that is formget.deals if you have found this video helpful in any way share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video